I really like the new Triumph Tiger 1200. Um, it's got a lot of great features and, and I love the look of the bike. But I do think that 150 horsepower is, is, is going to be totally wasted on me. And as I've mentioned before, and I also think for me, I'd probably find the bike frustrating to ride. Having 150 horsepower and not being able to use it, um, that gets pretty frustrating. I've had high horsepower bikes before. I had a uh, BMW K1300S. It had 170 horsepower, and the whole time I was riding it, I just, I was just felt like I was always holding back. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't use the throttle, I just had to be super careful with it because uh, any little twist and you'd be quickly up over the speed limit before you knew it. So um, I, I just, from past experience, I know that, that, that a high horsepower bike I'm going to find frustrating because if I've got the horsepower, I'm going to want to use it. And uh, nowadays, where I live, you just, you just can't do that. So even on my NC750X, you know, there's places where I'm riding it at 80 k's an hour and it's a beautiful windy twisty road and I just want to give it a little bit and, and you know enjoy the bends and even even on that I find I have to hold myself back and that's what 60 odd horsepower so I, I know I would find 150 horsepower just too frustrating which which leads me back to the NT 1100 or the Africa Twin and I, originally I had my, my mind set up it was going to be either one of those two bikes as, a, as my next bike. But then the Tiger 1200 came along and then I started thinking that might be a better option. After thinking about it a lot more, I think the NT 1100 still is going to be the best bet for me. But having said that, I've also been thinking that I don't really want to sell my NC750X. It's uh, such a good bike. It's only 220 kilos. So it's nice and lightweight to, to get around and, and to manoeuvre around town and, and on the smaller gravel roads it's quite easy to manage. So yeah, it's just been such a, a good little bike, plus it's great on fuel. It has the storage area in the tank, which I use all the time, that's, that's, that's a must for me now. I don't know how I did without it to be honest. So yeah, I don't know, it's, um, I'm just wondering if maybe uh, two bikes might be the better way to go and just just keep the NC750X until I can afford to buy a second bike uh, for touring. So if I do go the um, second bike for touring route it then means that I can buy a more touring focused bike because it, I don't need one bike to do both things. Where the NT1100 would be a bike that I could use for touring and also um, just my general riding around. Having a more touring focused bike say like a Goldwing might be better keep the NC750X and buy a Goldwing and then I've got the best of both worlds and the other bike I was looking at in that regard was the Harley Davidson Tri-Glide Ultra there's something about that bike that uh, appeals to me I think it's the having three wheels where you know if I want to go away on a holiday with with my wife um, I want to relax and just just take it easy and I could see myself on a tri-glide, you know, you, you pull up anywhere and uh, there's no risk of dropping the bike. Um, my wife can be wriggling around, she can do whatever she wants on the back and it's not going to affect me. And I think it would just be uh, a more relaxing experience on, on a getaway on a holiday. And then if I still got the NC750X, well then, you know, it's um, I've got, a, got an everyday run around bike which I can still take on a highway can take off on gravel roads and um, and just have a bit of fun riding. Now they're pretty pricey bikes so um, that would be a fair way off before uh, I can see myself getting into one of those but it could be a good goal to aim for and um, yeah I, we'll see how we go. So this year I've decided I've, there's a list of bikes that I want to test ride for the channel and also for my, primarily for myself because I really want to see what these bikes like to ride. I'll go over all those bikes in the next video but for now I've already spoken to my local Harley dealer uh, which is Geelong Harley Davidson and uh, I've, I've let them know that if I get a Tri-Glide Ultra in for a demo or for a test ride uh, to give me a call and um, 
I'll take it for a test ride and make a video on it and, and just see what it's all about. One of my New Year's resolutions is that I plan to make more videos like this one and there's a list of topics I want to cover so there's probably going to be a few of these videos. So if that's something you're interested in consider subscribing and if you are subscribed thanks very much uh, I really appreciate you guys and, and your support. As this is the first official video for 2022 I just want to say Happy New Year, uh, have a great holiday period, uh, stay safe and hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.